Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back. In the previous two videos, I've shown you home automation systems which can be controlled with the smartphone and manual switches as well as IR remote and manual switches. In this video, I will show you the combination of these two projects where we can control the home automation system with smartphone, IR remote and manual switches. And in this video, we will be using the EEP ROM memory of Arduino where we will store the data permanently in it. So when there is any power cutoff and when the power comes back, the relay will come to its last state which was stored in the EEP ROM memory. And in the next videos, I will be starting the ESP32 series. So do comment down your favorite projects with ESP32 board and I will try to cover it. So let's quickly get started with this video. This is the circuit diagram of our today's project. So do follow it and connect your connections correctly. Just don't forget to disconnect the TX and RX connection of the Bluetooth module while uploading the code because it will throw you an error. If you are using off the shelf components then you can follow this circuit diagram and make your connections on breadboard. But I will not be using this relay module and breadboard connections as it becomes very messy. So I have designed my own PCB for this project. So here it is. The connections on the PCB looks very neat and clean and it makes this project very compact. So to make this PCB first I have designed this schematic on easy EDA then I have converted it into a PCB file and then I have downloaded the Gerber file of this PCB board. Then I am visiting jlcpcb.com who is the lead manufacturer of the PCB and also the sponsor of this project. So I am going to quote now and add the Gerber file. After adding the Gerber file I will select the quantity and the color of the PCB and place its order. In 7 to 8 days I received my order. The PCBs were nicely packed. So we'll grab a scissor and cut the packing of the PCBs and remove our PCB. As you can see the PCB looks very good. Now collect all these components and we'll start assembling it on our PCB. After assembling, we will start soldering it. So finally I have completed the soldering. The PCB is ready. It looks very good, neat and clean. Now we'll place Arduino Nano over it. We'll connect a USB cable to our Arduino Nano and start programming it. So first we will have to fetch the code of the IR remote as we have did in the previous video. So go to examples and open this receiver dump to file. Over here we will change the pin number as we are using the D3 pin for the IR sensor. So now we will select the board port and upload the code. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor and press the buttons on your remote and you will get a hexadecimal code. So copy this code and paste it in your Arduino code. As in the previous video, many of you have commented that you didn't find the examples IR receiver dump to file. So in this video, I will also leave that file as well.
So after you have copied all the hexadecimal codes, we'll select the Arduino port, select the board and upload the code. So after uploading the code, you can connect the Bluetooth module. So here is the app which I have created on MIT App Inventor for this project. These are the four buttons and we are using a list picker to connect to Bluetooth. And behind this, these are the simple blocks. I will leave a AIA file for this project so you can directly import it to your MIT App Inventor. And also the APK file which you can directly download on your smartphone. So links to these files will be in the description down below. Now on the PCB you can connect your buttons on these 4 pins. But I also have a PCB for this as well. So I will directly connect these 4 button pins to our PCB header pin. Now we'll connect a bulb holder to our PCB board. Cut one of its wire and connect it to our terminal connector. As I've shown you, be very careful while doing this as we are using high voltage current in this project. In this new PCB design, I've provided a 220 volt AC to 5 volt DC high link converter. So we don't need any extra additional 5V adapter for this project. So we can power this circuit from a directly 220V AC socket. So first power on our complete system. Then download the APK file which I have provided. And first we will connect to Bluetooth. Go to Bluetooth and pair the HC05 module. The default password will be 1234. So now we are ready with the complete setup. Here is the I remote, the smartphone and the manual switches and first we will turn on the complete system. Now we will select on connect bluetooth and select the HC05 module. And now it has successfully connected. So now you can control your home automation system with these three modes. The smartphone, I remote and the manual switches. So friends, I hope you like this project then do hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.